in today's episode. A Nissan GTR will wait. <laughs> Your mom's food delivery will be spotted. And someone's wallet will be drained. This is the SAP performance team. Their goal is to make you buy a SAP by doing a ritual that hypnotizes you. In all honesty, it is amazing what they pull off. Some things happen only once in a lifetime. During the 1997 Formula 1 qualifying for the European Grand Prix, the seemingly impossible happened. Jax Villeneuve set the fastest time of the session of 1.21.072, which was measured with a timing system that had the accuracy of a one thousandth of a second. A bit later in the session, Michael Schumacher set the exact same time. But that's not a crazy thing. When the third driver, Heinz Harald Frenzen, crossed the line, he posted the same time like the two previous drivers. Now you may think, who gets the pole position then? Well, in the regulations, it is said that if two or more drivers get the same time, whoever sets it first is ahead. Three cars, three drivers, three exact times. One of the more dangerous corners on the Nordschleife is the Flugplatz. As you can see in the background footage, there's a massive elevation change, followed by a high-speed right turn. In my own experience in racing games and from what I've seen on YouTube, it is very dangerous, especially with cars that don't have a rear spoiler. This BMW driver got caught out too, or slightly touching the outside curb. This is the most civilized way to have an engine failure. And obviously, it happened in Japan. This Nissan GTR decided to give up while being pushed on the Suzuka racetrack. And the owner didn't even flinch. Seems like it's not the first time this has happened. If you hear a small explosion followed by the sound of slapping a piece of meat 100 times per second, it's not a teenager without parents at home. It is Sebastian Vettel's right rear tire during the 2015 Belgian Grand Prix. Whenever you go out of your car, just remember it could be your last time. I personally would suggest to leave the wrecks of some cars next to the road to deter any drivers from hurting themselves or others. This is the Horunuku. While it may look like a sailplane that is mounted sideways to a boat, it is a land yacht. Yes, that's right. This one is specifically built by the Emirates team New Zealand to beat the land speed record for wind-powered land yachts set by Richard Jenkins, who achieved over 200 km an hour back in 2009. The physics of these things are absolutely mind-blowing, at least to a land rat like me. This is something any new driver or even experienced driver should know. A perfect example as to why you should stay on the right lane even when driving onto the highway. By immediately switching to the middle or left lane, you basically cause the other drivers behind you to slow down, which in turn can cause traffic jams. No matter what you drive, there's always a way to level up your skills. In this specific case, you would need to be especially good at balancing stuff. Because, well, you'll see for yourself. While normal people watch those weird, satisfying compilations on TikTok and YouTube, we car guys prefer this. A long travel suspension doing its job while being filmed from a car on a smooth road.
There's a ton of body kits and parts for the early Miata generations, but I did know that this existed. Basically, a Corvette inspired body kit for the latest Mazda Miata generation. What do you think about it? As you may know, me and some of the viewers here are Dave Matis enjoyers. So I wanted to bring you splendid news. There is a V8 powered Matis and 0 to 60 miles or 0 to 100 km an hour just takes 3.7 seconds, which is only slightly faster than the original Matis. Even though this is an obvious thing, I just recently realized that hot rods and red rods are two different things. Red rods are made specifically to look rusty, while hot rods get the nice paint treatment. Either way, both variations are really cool, such as this Ford Model A. Here is the world's first driverless car. It is artificial intelligence sourced from a Reddit user. Ah, just kidding. This is a Nissan Patrol where for some reason the steering wheel and dashboard is in the back seat. Also, this could be one of the earliest cars to use cameras as mirrors. This is the guy who built this car. He just gear pedals. Another episode, another guest the car by the sound. This is not a Honda Civic, not even close. This is a Kenworth truck with a Detroit diesel engine. Boeing built a special vehicle to transport plane wings on trucks. This is the steer car. It has no brakes and no turn signals. The co-driver basically sits inches below the massive airplane parts and transports them with the normal truck driver to another Boeing factory. Hitting the wrong thing at the wrong time and with the wrong vehicle. Yep, it's go kart tossing time. Ever seen a Hot Wheels car in real life? Okay, everyone has, but I'm talking about one that can actually be driven. Now, I am not sure if this is an actual Hot Wheels car, but the proportions definitely match up. And to end today's episode, I would like to show you this Australian Mercedes head from the 80s. This time, I have no stupid joke to add. This Mercedes-Benz was traveling on a highway outside Melbourne at 9 o'clock on a Tuesday evening. Inside, with a niece family. Husband, wife and two teenagers on the way to their farm. As they crested a hill, another car on the wrong side of the road and traveling at high speed in a 100 kilometer zone, speared into the Mercedes. In all, 120 safety features are built into every Mercedes-Benz. And in that split second of the accident, many of them saved the family's lives. The driver's pedals dropped to the floor away from his feet. The electronic seatbelt pretensioning device pressed the occupants deep into their seats. And despite the horrifying impact, the Mercedes safety passenger cell did not collapse. Survival space remained intact. This is the Nice family. To them, a Mercedes-Benz is not a luxury. Thank you so much for watching, and if you want more, check out my second channel. Have a nice day. That doesn't make sense.